Welcome to Hanoi, Vietnam's capital and second largest city with over 8 million people. With almost a thousand year old history as Vietnam's capital, Hanoi is one of the main cultural centers of Vietnam. Tourists visit Hanoi mainly to see and experience the Old Quarter and the French Quarters. The Old Quarter still has a lot of Hanoi's former architecture and busy, narrow streets containing nowadays mostly souvenir shops, cafes, restaurants and the beer street. The later is, as you might already imagine, Hanoi's party in Backpacker Street, but with enough Hanoians mingling with the tourists to feel Vietnamese enough. Strolling around the streets feels quite wondrous. You will always wonder what waits you around the next corner. A market, a restaurant or maybe a temple. And then you feel exhausted the next cafe or restaurant selling local specialties is only a few steps away. Originally, each street had merchants and households specializing in a particular trade, such as silk, jewelry, smithing and so on. The street names still reflect these specializations, but few remain exclusively in the original commerce. Hanoi was the capital of French Indochina for most of its colonial period, and the French quarters are a constant reminder of this era. They are just to the west and south of the Old Quarter and famous for a distinctive colonial architecture style and tree-lined avenues. Villas, mansions and in general huge buildings will instantly draw your attention here since they create a cross contrast to the usual Vietnamese buildings. Arguably one of the better things the French brought with them was their cake artistry. A patisserie is worth a side trip while wandering the area around the Hanoi Opera House. No matter where you are in Hanoi, and to be honest, everywhere else in Vietnam, you'll without question notice the slim house fronts. Often the houses are stuck together wall to wall, creating a rather peculiar style pretty unique to Vietnam. Encompassed by the Southern French Quarter and the Old Quarter, you can find the Huan Kiem Lake, quite a popular spot for tourists and Hanoians to hang out. This is even more true once it's Friday evening, as from Friday to Sunday the usually busy roads around the lake become a pedestrian area and Hanoians really know how to use this newly reclaimed ground. One of the nearby streets also turns into a night market, with the usual tourist stuff but still worth a stroll. Another Hanoian thing are the train streets. Those are streets where people live just next to the tracks, selling produce out of the houses, running improvised open-air tea shops and eateries where you have to sit on tiny plastic stools, just occasionally disturbed by the whistling sound of a train. The French Quarter at the western side of the Old Quarter is the de facto government district. Here are a lot of embassies and government buildings. But as a tourist, you are more likely to go here to visit the Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum complex. It is surrounded by a small park and a few historic buildings. When we went there, it was almost completely empty. And this just emphasized the massive structure. This might be as far as most visitors on a schedule get, but for those who want to see and learn more about Hanoi, we have a few observations to share. For whatever reason, Hanoi has some of the best sun raises and sunsets. If you want to hunt the sunset, check out West Lake. It's the biggest lake in Hanoi with 17 km shoreline buzzing with bars and restaurants. Those are your best options to get an undisputed view on the sun setting if Hanoi's weather doesn't cancel your plans. The city can be pretty cloudy, especially in February and March. Still, if you manage to catch a sunset, they can be quite impressive. Besides West Lake, there are several other parks and lakes in the city, so they are never too far away if you want to escape the noisy traffic. By the way, the traffic in Hanoi is insane, especially the rain of the motorbikes. They are the rulers of Hanoi streets and sideways, with extra modifications on curbstones to enable the bikes to get on the sideways and park. 
blocking all your casual strolling ambitions. The reason that almost every Hanoian has a motorbike might be the patchy public transportation network. There are a few bus lines which might be affected by traffic jam, but they are ridiculously cheap. But if you want to move around cheap in central Hanoi, the bus line should be fine. As soon as you get hungry, you will realize that Hanoi has a vast array of non-Vietnamese restaurants. Most of them are Japanese, the second most common cuisine beside Vietnamese in Hanoi. They had a fair share of sushi and ramen. And we can confirm that Hanoi's Japanese restaurants are a delicious bargain. For Vietnamese cuisine, you have to try Bun Cha, a dish of pork belly and noodles with a dipping sauce mostly served by small street vendors. And there's obviously Vietnam's famous pho soup, which is strictly breakfast. We definitely enjoyed our time in Hanoi and so I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to visit Hanoi one day. Thanks for watching. Follow us on our journey by subscribing and ringing the bell. Also, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up.